What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the next episode of the Ragged Riches series. Today, friends, we're heading back out over to Interchange to get some more kills to finish up decontamination service. And we're also going to be looking up for the capacitors to try to finish up fertilizer. We need to first, before we do anything, sell a bunch of items because, well, we actually pretty good for last episode. Made a decent amount of items to actually sell to, well, hopefully make a good profit. So let's start from there. We're going to start by selling... Probably the, all the things over to therapist that she'll take. I'm just triple checking to make sure I'm not making any mistakes on things that I'm selling, of course. But let's start here. Sell everything that I know won't sell any higher on the flea market. We can sell all the dog tags. We don't need those ones anymore. This will definitely sell more on the flea market. Sell that. The Gingy may go more than 50k, so I'll wait for a minute on that. Sell the Bitcoins as well. I at first I thought maybe keep those for like a like a weapon thick case but we're gonna get one anyway from prep War, so we're not gonna be uh, too worried about you know selling that one right now at the moment or selling these at the moment uh and then we can also sell this guy oh i don't have enough space for the money well that's kind of awkward i haven't seen that in a while let's do this let's just toss all that into there and that should be enough space there we go then see 18,000 or okay so they actually don't sell for more in the flea market for the elite pliers so we'll get all those sold as well let's take a look 53,000 this one sells for 70 to 80,000 let's go 84,000 this is kind of be right in the middle and let's take a look tool sets what are you selling for nowadays 34,000 I think I've got more than that one though Let's go over to Thick Case, or not Thick Case, but the Junk Box we do. We've got another one right there. Filter that again. Select that. Make sure we're selecting all of them. Let's go 39,000 on that one. And let's go over to Rag Mag next. Let's sell all the things we don't need. We're not going to use the Comtex 2 anytime soon. Sell you, sell you. Get rid of all those. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to these armors. They actually may be okay. I, don't, I never used them really, but I'm sure at some point they'll become they'll become like something useful for us to use. So I'll hold on to them for now. Mechanic, let's take a look at you next. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on to the suppressor. I still have the, oh, I have two of them. Okay, so I can sell one then. I don't really need to hold on to two of them. So you, I'm gonna hold on to these two. Could sell the gem tech but the gem tech may actually sell better on the flea market let's take a look no it doesn't actually okay well we'll get rid of you then sell all these parts as well and we can sell you the shotgun i think the m870 sometimes does sell them for more oh yeah look at that holy cow look at the price on that let's go 195,000 on that i forgot because this is this is for the me the Part where you have to do the crafting for weapons of part five, I believe, or, or four, it's one of the two. Oh, we can sell you, sell you. The shift. I should hold on to the shift, actually, because I know it probably sells for a lot. Yeah, 40, 40k is decent, but we do need it for a weaponsmith part, so we'll actually hold on to that. 33,000 for the suppressor, but does it sell for more? It does not. So we'll get rid of you as well. So the random magazine they've got. Got a lot of uh, cords, so we'll actually pull those out and sell those. Like I said, I was holding on to a lot of the computer parts to sell them in bulk, so we'll pull those out. CPUs can get pulled out as well. Wires. We don't have a ton of wires, but that's still fine. We can pull out drills. We we'll also want to sell, sell the rest of these wires. Okay, let's start there. Let's do a filter on this one. So all of these wires go 21,000 on that. Cool. And this should all sell within a relative to, yeah, I was gonna say, should sell like literally instantly. Get all those sold. Let's go, what, 10,000 on the wires as well? I wonder how much the hand drills are going for right now. Let's take a look. Not bad, 40,000, so about 10,000 a slot. They are, I mean, they're obviously dropping down price, but I feel like everything's starting to normalize now that we're um, we're pretty much a month into the wipe, so it happens. Are you going to sell the second one? Please and thank you. If not, it's okay. Uh, we need to look at the thick case. Okay, we need to figure out some space in here. 
I think I've got space actually. Oh, I don't have a lot. Not a lot. Okay, let's do this actually. Let's toss all of these parts into the rig because I'm going to be. Oh, geez. Literally pulled me all the way out. You can part these, put these parts like inside of here. Mm, a sniper. I think I'm going to get rid of the Mosin because I'm going to start using the DVLs. And then we can toss this over here. I'm trying to think how I can make all this, all this fit. <laughs> There's quite a bit of items that a little bit weird shape for me to use. Uh, we'll sell, actually I'll keep the tan you lack. Let's get this repaired. Let's get all these put into here. Save a little bit of extra space. Cool, all right. Then I need to get a mag magazine case, but for now we can just toss them inside of here. That'll work. Do I want to keep the AK some for you? I don't think so. Let's unload it. Let's take the magazine, hold on to it, and we'll sell the rest of this. These two parts we're gonna hold on to, like I said. Put those in there. Let's get the motor going. Dang, these things are still expensive. Eighty-eight thousand. That should work. Let's see what I can sell over to. Jaeger. I know Jaeger will take the knife, obviously. The Jinji is somewhere in 50. It doesn't. So we can sell that over to Therapist for 50. And then we can start selling the PCBs as well. I think we're going to have enough, actually, for the Mark Room key like we were hoping to get. Let's go 11,000, I suppose, on that. I suppose. <laughs> we're going to sell it for that. Squash we're gonna hold on to. Obviously, we're holding into the waters. Let's see what else we got. Uh, do I have any more ES lamps? Uh, I do not actually. Let's do a, re a re refresh re um, sort on that one. Anything else I want to sell? I guess we can sell the dog tags as well. Don't really need to hold on to those anymore. We could sell the hoses. Oh, there's another motor we can sell. Anything else? Eh, so the hoses, why not? We'll find more of them. If not, we'll buy them later on for some of the crafts we're going to have to probably do. Oh, shoot. There was another cord. It was hiding away. Pull these out as well. Metal parts, I'm pretty sure I'm holding on to for some crafting inside the hideout. So we'll worry about that in a second. And these rigs I'm actually going to sell. I was going to hold on to them, but I'm actually going to sell those. Just okay. So I'll put you with the other ones. Okay, let's really quick start doing a little bit of a little more selling. Let's take the pistol out. I'm gonna sell this Glock SVD. You can just go right here for right now. All right, let's do a little more selling. Wow, they went down way in price for the hoses. Twenty thousand. Let's go. Those will sell in a minute. We can go the cord again. Where's it at? There it is. Twenty-four thousand, I guess. Close enough for a price. Uh, CPU fans. What are you going for right now? Only 10,000. Okay. Easy sell for us. Let's we'll make some good money on that. And we need to do the motor. Jeez, look at the price of those things. I love it. And if we bring like a trooper bag with us, I mean, we can usually find quite a bit of engines. Or not engines, but motors like on... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you can find quite a bit of them over at Interchange, too. So it is worth, like, taking. Let's go over to Mechanic quickly. Let's get these guns sold to him. Ragman, I can sell you this one. I'm not going to... I'm going to sell the other ones over to... Fence. Because I don't I don't want to repair them right now. Because otherwise it's going to take more of my repair kit. And I feel like that's not worth it. Okay. A little bit of lag, apparently. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost finished up clearing up the stash. We'll have to put this down below. This one can get sold as well. I don't expect to use the MDR. Put the suppressor back on that gun. I don't have really any reliable ammo for this, so we'll sell the MK17 as well. So we'll sell this, sell this. Save the compact, because the compact's kind of actually expensive, surprisingly. Islam, so you're still up in price. You're doing pretty good. We go twenty thousand on that. Let's go back to the traders. Go therapist again. We can sell all your dog tags to you. Get rid of you. 
dog tags over here too. Mechanic, you're going to take all these parts for the guns. Pretty darn good price on that one. Let's get that sold. I think about that for a minute. I was like, do I want to sell that? I'm like, yeah, I do want to sell that. Sell this gun as well. Having some trouble today. I see Tarkov. See, you're having some trouble. Oop, trader. Get this sold. CPUs. I don't think they sell for very much. No, they don't. So therapist, you can just take them right away. What about sailing? Sailing's going for about 14. Why not? Let's just keep working on the on the flea, just to keep getting that up in points. And then paracord. I have an extra one already, so we can sell this one. This one is sixty thousand. Good money right there. We're gonna need those later though, so I maybe probably should start collecting those. Screw nuts. Thirteen thousand. Sure. We'll go thirteen exactly. Cool. Now, I gotta take a look at the ammo here. I can just sell that. It's not worth holding on to for that. I'm sure. I'll just give it to Skier. Closest one that I can sell it to. Magnum Buck. Already have a ton of it. Don't need to hold on to it. What's inside this case? Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's pull these into the inventory. We can bring the SVD down to here. Bring the money up. I can't hold on to all that money, so let's do this. Oh, does it actually just... Okay, does it shoot it all the way to the top? That's actually convenient. I'll take that. And then we can toss all the money into here. Cool. Put the other pistol case in there. And actually, these pistol cases have a lot of space. I didn't realize that. They actually do. They have quite a bit. I mean, we're going to do like, the barter later on anyway. But yeah, I was just very surprised at how much space they actually do have. So the, put the Johnny B's here because we're going to use those for later. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. That, that should be everything. I mean, I could probably pull some more stuff out of here and sell, but we've been selling stuff for enough for this episode. So let's grab all our money and our bags. 3.8 million rubles. Love it. You'd love to see it. Put those in there. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not going to work, is it? Oh, that's not going to work at all. Uh, I want to do this. Let's toss all these into here. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Let's take the armor repair kit out then. And then, can I do this? I should be able to do this. Wait. No, thick case. Do we go like this? This? Yes. Okay, cool. Then we can toss those in there. Trooper bag can go into that, or that can go to that trooper bag. Uh, I guess we'll just keep the armor repair kit. Put that down at the bottom since we have this thing full anyway. Let's put all the money away. We have so much money. However, 90% of this money is going bye bye because we're going to be buying the mark room key now. So let's go to Jaeger. I think I can actually just. Actually, let's see how much the barter is. So straight up. This key is 2.3. Inspect this. Wait, how do I know how this is examined? Okay, hold on. So RB, RB, RB. Uh, let's go flea markets. Let's go RB. Let's see if they do show up on here. Just get these all identified if I can. There they are. One, eight. So if we do some quick old matho, which I have a calculator for here on that. Let's take a look at the price, see which one's more worth it. So 877. Let's just say that let's, let's go to the top marked ones. Let's just go. Uh, let's go 120 or 1.1 million and then what was the other one? Was it the P was it the PP or PK? Yes, this key here. Plus 189. Whoops. It's about the same. I saved like a hundred thousand. But I don't know. Sometimes this trade doesn't isn't fully like available. So 
We'll just bite off the flea market then. As long as it's not going too high. Yeah, it's fine. Buy the key. And we got 1.5 to work with. That means with having the march room key unlocked, we are going to be going over to customs soon. Probably this episode, maybe. And we're going to go mark up the marked room. So let's make sure we get everything. We got to swap out a couple things here. Let's get a new one of the sailor was. Or not. I'm going to buy two of them. I just, I mean, wait, what am I using? The rig? I can use a, a grizzly. Let's bring the grizzly with us. Save the sailor wolf or so yeah, save the sailor wolf for later. We'll take another hemostat. Gotta buy another mag because I actually threw the, the other one away. So we'll take this. Let's load all of this up. And actually, I need to do something. Let's go over to Peacekeeper. Let's buy let's see here. A thousand? I think a thousand will be fine for now. I need to buy the ammo. Gosh, it's all wait, it's sold out. How is that a possibility? These are supposed to be available to everyone. Disappointing, disappointing. Oh well, get that put into there. All right, we've been inside the trader for long enough. It is time to get going. We're gonna head over to interchange, like I said. We're going to go look for capacitors. We're also going to go and get the rest of the kills. We don't need a ton more, so we're going to work on that gun. We're going to get that repaired too, just in case it doesn't jam. All right, we are ready to go for the most part. Can I even repair this? I can't. That's fine. 46 is still fine. 36 out of 38. Repair it. And I need the extra ammo. Don't forget the extra ammo. That'd be bad. CMS. I should have an extra one. Throw that one in there. This one can get sold. Money can get put away. So much to get ready for for an episode. See, this is why I typically sell the stuff beforehand. But a lot of you guys like to see the selling portion. And it is it is actually kind of worth it. So let's head over to Interchange and let's finally get these kills. Are you ready? You know how you can get paranoid sometimes when you play games and like when you're running around with certain certain armors in this game. Well, I got that paranoia, so I swapped out the uh this gazelle for a brand new one. Because for some reason I felt like the 46 wasn't gonna last one a fight, so we swapped it out, got a brand new one. We'll use the old one for like if we have to go to like factory or something. Although although we are probably gonna have to go to factory for a few other tasks in the, in the upcoming future, so there is that. Right, let's get underground as soon as possible. I hate the front of the mall spawns. I, if I if I can make it happen, I always like to spawn the back. It's just a lot safer. You just go right into the mall. These ones, it's like, I gotta worry about about a million people there trying to get in at the same time. And if you're too far ahead, then you got people that are gonna be coming in right behind you, and it becomes a catastrophe. But let's get up the... Actually, you know what? We're gonna go left. I'm pushing up my thoughts on this. Goshen's usually a really good place for the scavs at the beginning. So we're gonna go up the middle escalator that literally goes to them. I like that plan. And then we can kind of shuffle off to the side and go for the computers and look for the capacitors. So let's go do that. We're gonna need... Yeah, I can already hear them. We're gonna need five capacitors well. Let's make sure I gotta grab those. And a lot more scab kills. Let's triple check actually. How many kills do we need? Uh, decontamination. We need... Okay, that's not too bad. We need 16 kills. We can make that happen. Obviously, I gotta be careful of players that are gonna be in this area. I think kill is here. He sounded real close too. Was it just close or was it was it weird sounds because it's interchange? 
He may be in the middle of the map, but he's not shooting around anymore, so maybe the people there in the middle got him. Good, we got him. I'm going to try to sneak to my left here. Because, like I said, he is close, it seems. But I want to be, like, on the open, just in case. Stand still for a second. Let's load up that mag. Just listen out, see if he does push. Where the heck did he just jump to? He just jumped somewhere. Strange. I may go the other direction and just keep wandering around the outside. I think it's the scab behind us. Uh, just in case. Trying to scare me there, Scav. My goal is to get the the kills. The secondary goal is going is going to be get the the capacitors. So I'm not really too too worried about focusing on the capacitors just yet because we can get those on any other map with the computers. So it's taking our time. I got shot up by another one over in this direction. I don't know where he's at, obviously. Let's keep moving. Let's, um... Let's head to the computer room over there, and then what we can do is we can take the hidden staircase up. And we can kind of skirt around the outs uh, the upstairs. And maybe find some players to kill. And of course some scads is what we're looking for. Do I check this quickly? I think I do. I think we check this to see if there's any chance for a Bitcoin. Door is closed. That's good. Nothing. Got nothing there. Empty. Empty as can be. What about over here? Ooh. Gold chain. I'll take it. Ugh, a bunch of gold or a bunch of chainlets. Not worth it. Check this as well. Take the 
Discord. All right, let's get into the computer room here. Close that up just in case. Just in case. Cool. Need five in total. Give me all five, please. I'll even take a graphics card and I won't complain. Ooh, this one's got the three computer spawn. Nice. I love that one. Wires. What about over here? Is there one over here hiding in the corner? There's not. Rubles. We can put that in the docks case. Propane and propane accessories. I'll take the clean actually because I can use that for a barter. Come on, capacitors. Number two. There's a lot of computers for us to check, so it'll be just fine. Three. But if I can get them all right here, this would be nice. Don't think that's gonna happen though. We could go over to Ollie instead. Yeah, we could go over to Ollie. Let's do that. I was gonna take the hidden staircase up, but why don't we take it to Ollie? We can still get some kills over there uh, for some scabs. But we got the computer rooms all over on the back side. So we can take the outside first, maybe find some scabs that way, and then we can. Go to the back and do our thing. All the shots seem to be out front though. And I have no idea where that one guy was. Or where he went, I should say. I feel like it'd be kind of nice if they had a stat list, which I don't know how difficult it would be to do, but it would be nice if they had a stat list between damage done to scabs and damage done to players. So that way you can, you know, determine how much damage you did to each and then whether or not you actually hit a person during like a fight. Even if you don't kill them, that way you can kind of get an idea of like how accurate your shots were. Just food for thought. Maybe a cool little addition later on in the future. I don't see any scabs down there, so we'll just keep going. What am I hearing right now? That was a weird sound. I thought it was maybe a player, but I think it's just a scab outside. Weird, weird noises. Now, we don't have any food on me, so I do have to be a little bit careful about that. With the energy and the water. <laughs> Trying to scare me and jump scare me, I see. Drop coming in. Okay, we're doing okay in the kill so far. A little loud, I think, guys. <laughs> Just gonna heal up full now. Let's 
sounds like there's a player. Just in case. Forty thousand rubles. We got people outside. I feel like they're exiting now. We can go through Ollie real quick, look, look for some loot, and uh, also hope that some scabs are over here. It would be a bad idea to secure the capacitors real quick, Let's secure the loot, and then we can come right back in, try to get the rest of the kills. Granted, I want to get a little more loot before we leave, because we have a decent amount, but not a ton. Building it up. Pretty much, if I can get my hands on it, just take it. Sadly, that means the kills are going to be gone for us at the exit, but is what it is. Thing on the shelves here. I wonder if someone came through here. It seems like they did. Like the guy that's exiting may have gone through all this. There's a motor. Let's see if there's any more of those. Good money if I can get more. We got fuel. I'll take it just because we got the slot for it. And fuel sells for a decent amount. Not a ton, but it's something, right? Just around these corners. Let's check all the toolboxes too. A uh, drill. Okay. We'll take that, I suppose. Anything else that we can get? Cut tape. Got to keep the money going, you know. Keep up the profits of what we got. Take that. We'll take the foam. Yeah, we'll take the insulator tape. Okay, we're full. Let's get the heck out of here. Well, we have one slot, technically. Uh, connection, please stabilize for us. We don't need that. Hey, that works. That works. Just to get an idea, how many more do we have to get then when we come back? Oh, we only got four kills this run. Then again, we got kind of, um, got turned around. We got turned around during that kill. Or fighting that player, I should say, not kill. But all good. Makes me just tells me, hey, I get to come back to interchange again, and then we'll leave. To like, I know, and I know somebody wanted to do the marked room on customs, but just means we got to come back and do it later. Just 
Check for feet there. I didn't see any. Looks okay. Careful now. Careful now, PMC. Don't hurt yourself. I don't need you breaking your legs. I think what we're going to do, we did like, like we did last time. I'm going to drop everything off. Repair the armor that we're wearing right now because it's repaired to like 55, 56. And then we'll come right back in and worry about selling stuff at the end and turning all the quests in and whatnot. Just so we can keep the action rolling. I feel like it seems like the lag spikes come in like when people are exiting. At least what it feels like. Well, that, that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it, it's pretty dramatic. See anyone sitting in the tents? Just don't stand still, just in case. Don't stand still. All right. First run down. We got all the capacitors. That means we got fertilizer finished up. Good first run. I'll take that. And you know, it's all uh, scav kills. We know PMC kills, but I will take it nonetheless. All right, let's get going. Let's get into the mall. Get the rest of these scav kills we need. Now there is a chance for players spawning in real close to us, so we're going to do what we did like before. We're going to go inside and sort of wait for them to come to us, so that way we can get rid of them early on, and then we'll focus on getting the rest of the scab kills. Hopefully they don't go underneath, but we'll see. Well, like I said, you know, take out somebody when they come. Somebody spawns, man. They're so close. They're so close. Is that a scav? that one oh that was the survivalist one getting kills um around tarkov trying to figure out what the heck that was but hey that's another task complete for jaeger that's actually really nice i don't think i'm gonna go for the body outside Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's a smart idea. Let's get fully healed here. It'd be nice for like a perk of the grizzly if like it healed the multiple like multiple limbs like 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 because it takes a longer animation. So it'd be nice if like it healed the leg, but then the rest of the heal went to another part of the body. Would be nice to see that. Gosh, we got destroyed on our armor. Oof. That really hurt. Sounds like there's more scabs underneath here, so we'll make our way right behind us and see if we take out the rest. Where you at, scabs? I'm hearing you. There they are. Need to get a little closer. 
I think we're within 60, but just in case. Okay, then another one down. Let's continue underneath. Do what we did before. We'll head over to Goshen and do the underground part. And go up that way. It's our best bet. And again, I just don't, I don't want to risk going outside and... You know, he may have a friend. Especially when I'm hearing the shots right now. There's a good chance of that. Let's keep on moving through. Should be just here on our left. We can go up. I may want to start at some point. I may, I may swap over to... Oh, what do you call it? The the Sir 12. They swap over to that. CMS does a decent job, but it would be nice to have a full, like, or at least a, a lot more health put towards the, the limbs when we repair them. What else you got for us? All right, we'll take it. A lot of shooting going on in the front of the mall. You hear some movement upstairs. Come to me, scabs. I need all of you. Someone had a really good idea, actually. Like, if you don't really care about like the loot or whatever or the armor, you could always technically take a pistol. And you know, you could do these runs because the scabs will, you know, obviously try to murder you. <laughs> so it would be kind of an interesting plan. here in the rain someone's definitely gone through all this part though both those doors are open so it makes me makes me feel like someone's real close guess we can go check in here see what kind of loot we can get i have to wait because it looks like most of the scabs are dead so we'll just wait for the for the second wave to actually come in and take those ones out. Main launcher. I mean, we get some nice mags out of this. Those 60 rounders are pretty nice. Pretty much just take whatever we can get our hands on. Just shooting going on. Okay, we got shots over an Ollie. What's this? I'm oh, just a mag, okay. Scab over here. Come here, Scab. I need you. again trying to think here we got one two i think that's three kills so not a ton so we're still working on those hmm I think maybe we'll take the hidden staircase up Let's take the hidden staircase up and then we can look for some more scabs on the top floor. Let's 
Watch out for any players, though. It's clear for the most part. I'm going to guess these computers have already been checked. We'll just check one just to see. Oh, no. Oh, they have not. Okay. Well, then we will profit from them. It's not the most money in the world, but I'll take it. We're mainly here for the kills anyway, so pretty much anything else is just profit. No computers there. What about on this side? None. I feel like the other offices got way more computers. Like you get a couple here and there, but not as much as the other place. Let's head on up. Let's see what we can find. We got about like 10 more minutes before I want to like start heading out of this place. But like I said, we need nine more kills. It is def it's definitely possible. I mean, the amount of scabs that respawn in this map should definitely be possible. We need to be in the areas so when they do actually spawn in. Oh, wow, both, both gun cases didn't spawn. Okay. Never mind. I was expecting to see a couple more cases to loot. Got the bag here at least. Let's check this. Take all of it. Now, there is a chance for Athletics to spawn inside this pharmacy. We can check this before we continue moving on. A cheeky Athletics would be nice. In there. See about here. No computer either. Check the meds. No, thank you. I don't need either of those. Nothing on that table. Don't think we got the lucky spawn this time. you just go I just saw your head what am I stuck on right now <laughs> what was that Visible wall being invisible, I suppose. I have no idea where this dude just went. Ran right past us and disappeared like without a trace. Okay, then. That was just really strange. I think there's someone over here in the middle. He's got an SR-25 as well. So he's got a pretty strong round. So let's try to be a little careful here.
It's coming this way. I don't know if this is two people or not. It sounds like it's two. Could be just the one, but it sounds like two. Come to me. So I don't see anyone to the right. So maybe it is just the one. Wish that were, that grenade would have landed a lot better. Actually, hit it and it uh, or threw it and it hit the pillar there. Still here. going to the other side. Lag, please. All right. Weird fight. If I would have had more grenades, I would have kept going for it, but why I need to start bringing more, more, more grenades, guys. You gotta remind me in the comments. I forget. <laughs> it would be nice, because then I could keep kept bombing there. But the guy to the left there, and now my armor is right now trying to go after someone with, like, M80s or M61s or M62s. Uh, nah, not the safest in that. I like to take fights, but I try to take fights where I know I can win. And, like, that fight, I felt like I was going to lose it if I try to try to engage on it. Let's get going. Energy's looking okay for now. We do have a herring, though, we can eat, if need be. But let's go through Goshen. Let's see if we can get a couple more kills. If not, we'll keep moving. Nothing here. Quickly get this one topped off. Oh, I think I lost a mag. Oh no. I dropped a mag because I didn't have a slot open for it. <laughs> what in the world is that gun? Is that a shotgun? You can feel that in your heart. Holy cow. Thump, thump, thump. No. No, the scabs, they're all dying. Let's see if I can try to get a couple of those kills before he takes them all. Breathe, scabs, or scab player. It's going to be okay. That's another one down. Yeah, this had been a scat player. Ooh, he's got a big backpack too. Ooh.
I got him. Got load the mags. Load in, load in, load in. All right, let's get healed up. Oh, that didn't actually load the mag. Well, I wasn't expecting those two to show up. <laughs> Luckily, I was a little bit prepared for it with the position we were in. Got another airdrop coming in. It's like he like hit my arms only. Let's get this last one loaded up. That should be all of our ammo, actually. Them them arms, fix them up. All right, let's get full healed up here. Well, I don't think we're gonna finish all the kills this run. Actually, we're not. We're not gonna finish them all. We're gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be getting these guys loot, and then we're heading out. I'll we'll have to come back next episode and finish it up, which is fine. You never know how these episodes are going to actually go, you know? Could go fantastic, and sometimes they, you never know. Suppose I can take that. Pistol, some insurance fraud here. Got a Luger ammo in there. Drink all that. Good on energy and water. Ooh, oh, this was the guy. This is the guy we were fighting. Yeah, this is definitely the guy.
Probably not gonna keep out this food. <laughs> Just in case. I was very happy I was ready for that. Got that. So we still got the other guy to, to do some looting on. Okay. We're gonna be slow moving to the exit, but that's fine. See what you had. Not the best loot. Alright, final. Actually, now the propane's gonna be too heavy. gonna be our best haul. I guess we'll just take everything to sell it, I guess. Let's just go grab that contacts. Mm. If I do this. <laughs> that was trippy. Yeah, we can do this here. Oh, is it bugs? Oh, please don't bug out on me. Never mind. I forgot we had our bag. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine on loot. We're gonna need to get moving. Because we have a long way to go. gonna be popping out like a weirdo all right not bad not bad like i said i was hoping for all the kills to be finished up this episode but um yeah we kind of got detoured a few times there either way still 4600 xp can't be mad about that we got three player kills we got four scav kills and we're just gonna have to finish it up for the uh, next episode hey, well we didn't accomplish everything we want to but at least we can go to jaeger and say, hey, I killed those 30 scabs you wanted me to kill. Dang, what the? Okay. <laughs> that opened up a few quests. <laughs> Just a few of them. <laughs> we gotta eliminate PMCs inside of custom storms. Eliminate PMCs while they're flashed. Oh god, or stunned, whatever. Looks like we're eliminating our boy over on factory. We gotta locate Killa at some point. Gotta kill rogues. Actually, this one might be actually fun. Administrator. Eliminate any targets at the Pinewood Hotel on streets. 20 of them. Shoot the yellow flare in the hotel courtyard. Wait, is that an exit? Oh. Wait, is that a I thought it was the green flare was the exit. Locate and eliminate Kabam. Oof. Okay. This is gonna be fun. I've yet to see any boss yet, so this is like... It's kind of like annoying because I've yet, like I said, I've yet to see them. Ooh, stylish one. Locating, eliminate, kill a 50 times. Yes, let's do that. 
<laughs> Locate the cause of the signal jam on streets. Looks like we're getting some stuff unlocked because of our level. A mechanic. Let's turn in these to you, actually. Two, three, four, five. Very good, very good. Looks like nothing else is good to be turned in just yet. No, not quite there. And I don't think... No, I don't have M I don't have any M18s. All right, well, I don't think we unfortunately hit level 37. I think we're very close though. Let's go take a look. At 38,000, it's not that bad. We have a lot of quests. We just got more unlocked for Jaeger. Holy Pete, I'll be looking by the way and getting you to your next level. We need three points left. A lot of options, but it's pretty much like killing everything. How much does the rogue quest give us? It gives only 0 0.2. I'll take a look at this. Eliminate priest. This is going to be like a... What do you call it? Gosh, I forget their names. You know what I'm talking about. The 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 nighttime people. I can't think of the dang name right now. It's, it's, it's evading me. <sighs> Either way. Let's take our money. Take our bitcoins. Let's grab all the stuff from you. We have to drop all this stuff off as well. We have a lot to sell again, and I'm happy about that. Harry, we can toss in there. Decent episode. I will say decent episode. We didn't complete everything I wanted, but that's life, right? Can't always complete all the tasks you want to complete. But we can definitely try for the next episode. We got some M80s as well. We should have M80s unlocked by next episode. I am going to put a stamp of approval of that happening. Because I want to make sure we get ourselves, well, Peacekeeper, to full, uh, fully maxed out. Drop all these off. All right, not bad. Got to sell some stuff. I will say though, good haul. Decently good haul today. Especially again, the March room key, that was a big thing. That's gonna help us out get the, the cult part two finished up. We can of course go over to woods and mark up the other stuff ourselves. But as I was saying before, we're gonna have to finish up. Oh Jesus, this one's a Ford 40. That's fine. I mean, they got the other one as well. <laughs> They're both low. It's what it is, but we got to go finish up those quests or those quests, those, those quests, the kills for the next episode. How many more do we need? Not that many. Is it still nine? I think it's still nine. No, eight. We need eight more kills. We can easily do that for the next episode and go from there. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Rag to Riches series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. We're at 51% survival rate, ladies and gentlemen. That's probably the best survival rate we've ever had for the series, and I'm very, very excited about that one. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>